I've been craving enchiladas lately, so I picked up some enchilada sauce when I was at the store. But the thing is, is I have to make my own tortillas. So I'm going to make grain-free cassava flour tortilla to go in my enchiladas. I have my two and a fourth cups of cassava flour and three fourths of a teaspoon of salt in here. Now I'm gonna add six tablespoons of olive oil and stir that up. And then one cup of warm water. I usually end up adding more water than the recipe calls for though. And I just work, work it until it's a nice dough. Next, I get out my tortilla press. I like to use parchment paper when I'm doing this. It just makes it easier. I take a, a ball, just get a ball. So you can you can use it this this big. I like mine a little bit thinner, so I go up and I go behind this and I just flatten it out a little bit more. I have my pan heating on medium and I just stick it in there. I like to have two going at one time. It makes it go faster. I pre-cooked my chicken and I cut it up and I'm going to uh, saute it with some onions right now. I added in a pouch of black beans. Then I'm gonna pour in my store-bought enchilada sauce. Because sometimes you want enchiladas and you don't have the time to do it all. Okay, and now I'm going to add in some cheese. Normally, I do enchiladas traditionally. I'll wrap them up and put them in the, the 13 by 9 pan and bake them that way. Unfortunately, both of my 13 by 9 pans are being used to house leftovers. And I don't really feel like dealing with all of that. So I'm gonna just kind of come up with my own enchilada pie of some sort, and we'll see how that goes. Okay, so I'm just gonna use my cast iron pan, and what I'm gonna do is just line the bottom with tortillas. Pouring some more enchilada sauce over the top. Adding the leftover cheese. Let's we'll stick it in the oven. So I'm now gonna make some fresh salsa and guacamole.
I've also got some hibiscus tea brewing. So that was one cup and then add a little bit more to one and a half cups plus a half a lemon. You can put as much lemon as you want in there. And then I add water to fill up the jar. And last but not least, I'm gonna cut up some lettuce from our garden to go on top. Despite the problems we had, this seems to have turned out pretty well. What do you think, Lily? Good. <laughs> what do you think, Jonah? Good. <laughs>